Within the known universe, our water planet is a unique and extraordinary treasure. Where oceans cover nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface, and the volume of the seas provides more than a thousand times greater living space than found on land. And in turn, we have no greater obligation than to preserve this incredible realm for future generations. Since oceans have no borders, our global actions have a direct effect on all marine life. From the smallest creatures in the sea, to the largest of apex predators. And only a delicate balance holds this fragile ecosystem together. One of the main goals of the SOS Foundation is to help implement world measures to curtail potential ecological tragedies. Today, many of our coral reefs which took centuries to grow, are dying. With the negligent poisoning and polluting of these reefs, we're also destroying the habitat of thousands of species of marine wildlife, and thereby endangering their very existence. Found around Mexico's Socorro Archipelago is one of the world's largest remaining giant manta populations. So little is known about them that the SOS Foundation has financed in-depth research that includes on-site scientific observation, DNA sampling, and satellite tagging and tracking. It's time to put a stop to fishing techniques that continue to kill cruelly and indiscriminately. Long lines, drip nets, and ghost nets are among the most insidious killers of sea life. Acting as massive walls of death, they snare and entrap anything that falls within their path. An alarming statistic indicates that over 70% of all that is caught in gill nets has no economic value to commercial fishermen. Man, it turns out, has become the ocean's greatest enemy. In numerous areas around the world, the killing of sharks has skyrocketed by over 2,000% in the last 10 years alone. Fishing nets entangle and drown about 100 million sharks each year. And scientists now estimate that the population of some shark species has dropped by more than 80%. After surviving hundreds of millions of years of evolution, many sharks, even the great white, may now be headed for extinction. The white shark is considered to be an ultimate monster. Well, it isn't, and I think the thing is that continuing studies by a variety of people are showing that the terror doesn't exist except in the minds of people. 